be completely new competition. Um, we have a new player than last semester, so some of the roles have kind of flipped, and our way we're playing is a lot different right now. So um, we're optimistic about it. So this will be kind of like a, a test in the waters for us. This will be like a few first game jitters back into the season, but we're uh, excited to see what comes from it. So. And since last time you guys played, there's been two or four new operators? Yeah, there's been two, I think. I two believe. new yeah, operators. Two. and. Potentially, you know, completely flipping the game on its back. That's what a lot of these new operators tend to do. Yeah. Um, as they sometimes recycle and but add different elements into their kits. Um, I, I imagine you guys have practiced pretty significantly uh, yes. coming up to this moment. Yeah. Um, Grim hasn't really been a game changer for us. He hasn't been played a lot in scrims or in any kind of comp game. Um, I really just don't think he's been figured out yet. But once he is, it could be really crazy. Um, Azami, though has been a pretty big shift. Uh, she's pretty strong in a lot of sites, and uh, we're, we're curious to see if anybody pulls her out, and we might even ourselves, so. And of course, this is the first game of the season. You guys are one of the last teams to get your debut. Um, some teams have already played two or more games yeah. up to now. You got a lot of expectations to live up to. Are you feeling any pressure at this very moment? Um, I wouldn't say really pressure. I'm not like feeling pressure about like our previous standing in last semester or anything like that. But um, I'd say I'm a little nervous just because first game back and uh, our new roles. So that can always shift some stuff and you don't really know what to expect until you're really in there. So yeah, you really do never know what to expect. Um, and you know, with your new player, so you have four returning players and one new one. Correct. Has that has that been difficult at all trying to incorporate him into your existing system? I would say it definitely has been a challenge. Um, we play a very interesting lineup where none of us have really have a hard support role besides Matt with Josh. Um, so Nick plays a lot like myself, and I play like a lot like Mike. So we kind of have to. I've been trying to switch over into a different role. Sometimes Nick is switching over into that different role. So it is kind of challenging because we're trying not to all play the exact same thing. So it is it is tough, but we're hoping that it uh, shows improvement tonight. So. Well, you know, the, the four members that we've seen have been a really solid team. Of course, you guys are national champions. Yeah. There is a lot of hype around you guys. This is one of our flagship games right here. We've got the shiny uh, <laughs> national championship trophy. A little late, admittedly. A little but late. A little <laughs> late. <laughs> it is here now. Better late than never. And if you guys did miss a stream, we actually presented Mac with this trophy uh, prior to Rocket League night? Monday? Yeah, yeah, Rocket League Monday, so maybe not so fitting. We probably could have waited till <laughs> Thursday, but he probably would have found out before then. So we had to make the tactical play and give him the trophy right now. Um, but it must feel really nice finally seeing it is. Uh, some of the you know, fruits of your labor, of some of your hard work last semester. It is nice. It is nice. I was wondering if it would ever come, but I could see how maybe that would take a while to get that made and then shipped out and everything like that. You know how that goes, so yeah. I'm not mad. Yeah, and, and you know, the mail, it, sometimes you can't trust it. <laughs> you things, can't. Things do happen. You absolutely cannot. And things just go wrong. Um, you know, as this season goes, uh, I believe it, it, there's usually an update throughout like mid-game, mid-season where they add more operators, new map changes. Hopefully um, this season will not. So. Just a couple weeks ago, a season dropped. So we're looking at about 85 days of a season right now before the next major event, because every major event they release a new season. So we're hoping that this season will go through in the 85 days. So if not, yeah, we might have to play a patch right at the end of the thing, and that would really mess some stuff up. But we're hoping that that doesn't happen. So, and of course, you know, 85 days. Like if that's if that's you know true, if they if they follow through with that, and hopefully they do and hopefully even longer so it doesn't drop at the end of yeah. the season. It gives you a lot of time to kind of prep. It does. Uh, and I guess you guys are really prepared uh, to move forward with this season and stay consistent and, you know, practice and improve the craft with every single time. And it can really only get better as you unlock scouting opportunities right. uh, and you just get to see more teams playing. Everyone right. is starting tonight, you know. Exactly. Everyone's just been scrimming, practicing, playing solo, you know. You just never really can know until you get in there and yeah. start taking the first shots. Yeah, that is probably one of the biggest things we're going into this game for is to really see like what the competition here is going to be like, what some of our competitors are going to be, and of course after this end, see some of the other games that was played in Nace and kind of just do some recon because this is our first semester in this league. So exactly like you said, I mean this is a recon week. Yeah, and and lastly for all the viewers. Uh, who this may be your first time tuning into our Rainbow Six National Championship team. You know, like Valorant, uh, like League of Legends, information is the heart 
of Rainbow Six. Yeah. Arguably more so than any of the previ previous games. You have an entire phase dedicated to just sending drones in. Yeah. And that's arguably as important as shooting the people, is knowing where they are and knowing how the rotations. In terms of overall understanding the map, understanding the phases, would you think or would you say uh, with all your experience that Rainbow Six is one of the hardest games to learn? Uh, I actually tell my friends all the time that I think it is at least like top five, top three hardest games to learn because it's one of those games like it's been out for six, seven years now. I think we're in year seven. So like there's people that have been playing since year seven. Like you're not going to be able to catch up to somebody else. And it's always changing. The meta is always changing. And half the game is information, like you said. I mean, sometimes you spend 90% of the round on the drone while your teammates play the game. So it is absolutely one of the hardest games to learn, not only mechanically with all the leaning and the aiming and all that, but like knowing the map is half the battle. So I think Siege is definitely one of the harder games to pick up. And I think a lot of people that play it will tell you that. And even as a very, very small time player like myself, I will thoroughly, thoroughly agree with that point. Um, I, I usually, my suggestion for anyone who wants to play Rainbow Six is play it with friends or watch the professionals. <laughs> yeah. Because if you're going in solo, you're going to find it really difficult. Yep. Uh, because even at like the low ranks or even unranked, you're going to go against people who, have, who are, like you said, are veterans. And they're going to whoop you. Yep. And it's you know not going to be pretty. It's a very hard game, very frustrating game at times, getting peeked through a wall that you didn't even, a little tiny you know, gun hole in the wall. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, you know, very rage inducing. Um, but you just have to stay with it. Uh, and if you want any tips, be sure to watch these guys. And you know, I'm not I'm not sure if y'all ever just play with randoms or anything. But if you guys are ever interested in hopping into the USM Esports Arena, there's usually one or two R6 players here. So if you're ever wanting to duo up, just see how how good they are compared to you. Uh, <laughs> there's a good opportunity to do that. Uh, so you can drop by the USM Eagle Esports Arena. And of course, you can check out our Discord, Twitter, YouTube at USM Esports. Catch updates. You can see vods. Uh, pretty much anything else that you could imagine. And of course, for Discord, you can get in contact with production, video, uh, video editing, games, <laughs> coaches, pretty much anything you could ever imagine. Um, so as you guys get ready to start teaming up, is there anything you'd like to let the viewers know before it's time, you know, before it's go time? I don't know. I feel like I've said everything that I've needed to say, and I'm not going to pre-speak anything into existence before it happens. So um, we're just really excited to get into the season. I'm very excited to have a new teammate and kind of, kind of, Show them the ropes and teach them everything about competitive siege because it's a much different game. But um, yeah, shout out my parents though, for real. Hey, shout out to his parents. Beautifully mysterious. We're gonna have to just wait and see what happens. <laughs> but of course, it's always an honor interviewing you. You basically explain everything we ever need to know about a game that we can never really know. I, I try my best. I try my best. So really appreciate you coming out. Uh, thank you for um, having me. And I guess we're gonna be getting ready to uh, start teaming up. Uh, yeah. I will be handing it over to the production manager here shortly. Uh, just want to say thank you to all the viewers. Uh, tap in and chat if you're here. Uh, I will be on the spectator mode. I will be back for the post game interview. Uh, but until then, love your casters. USM Aaron, USM Phobia. Uh, don't mess with Phobia. He's the GA. He will take you out. <laughs> it, he, it's on site with him. If you come into the esports arena, you're done for. <laughs> so uh, check them out. It's going to be a good game tonight, guys. And I don't believe we have another stream until Monday, because production manager Adino will be on Saturday. Uh, so yeah, this will be the last stream. We're going to try to make it the best one. Uh, last update before I hand it over, uh, Smash Bros uh, USM Gold team won in a sweep uh, in their crew battle, and then USM Black was swept. <laughs> so uh, shout out to the Smash team. We're going to get those VODs up here on the YouTube, so make sure to go check that out if you want to see. Uh, Hedino got a glimpse of it and said he saw some crazy things, so you're going to want to check it out. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and hand over the casters now. This is USM Janos. Thank you to all the viewers. I'll be on the spectator mode, and I'll see you in the postgame.
All right. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is John. I am USM Phobia. This is Aaron, USM Aaron. Hello. Uh, and we're going to be your casters for the Rainbow Six Siege game tonight. So tell us what's going to go on, Aaron. So today we're going to be having a best of three. No, yeah, a best of three. Uh, it's going to be Oregon, Cafe, and then a decider map of Clubhouse. Uh, we have attack. USM has attack first every single game. So I'm not exactly sure how that's going to go out. Uh, majority of Rainbow Six Siege is truly defender-sided. So we're just really going to hope that USM can can bang out those uh, attack rounds. I know in Cafe that it might be a little bit of a struggle just so, because of that top. So level. is it good that we're attacking first to see if we can pick the rounds early uh, and then we can be certain that it's a little bit easier on the second half every time? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, having those attack rounds come first is definitely going to become a better way for our defense to strive. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's going to make it to where we'll win rounds more consecutively and we will be able to... Cut any slack early yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So, tell us, uh, what are you to USM Esports? Uh, he introdu uh, John introduced me as the GA, so I'm the graduate assistant for USM. Uh, uh, I, just, I just play R6. I just <laughs> play Siege. Uh, I'm on the B team because, well, and uh, I'm, uh, Josh was trying to get me to be an analyst for the Siege team. So, hey, apparently, man. I have a little bit of game knowledge. That is it, I was going to say, it's, the analyst is one of the, is a very critical part because they get to watch everything in a third person scenario, mm -hmm. and that third person is absolutely critical to improving. Absolutely, absolutely. And I mean, it's just good to, to have the view of you guys, you know right. what I mean? I just think that's very important to just, as a learning experience, it's just very, right. very important. Absolutely. I will say, uh, if anyone's ever... Uh, in the need of an arm sleeve, you just make sure you go to USM uh, Mac or Reza. They both got the arm sleeves for days. It's because the arm hair causes friction. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you can't aim right because the arm hair. Right. And it's just it's a mess, you know. And the arm sleeve it just takes that away completely. What would you say is the most needed piece of gaming? Uh, the chair. The chair. The chair. You, you weren't here when we were playing on folding chairs, were you? <laughs> no. We were playing on the chairs we're basically sitting on. <laughs> Or folding chairs. That sounds miserable. <laughs> we were we are still national champions, and that's True. what they played on last season. True. National champion R6 team. We have playing tonight. Uh, as Reza said earlier, they've never scrimmed these people before. They've never played against these people before. Uh, uh, LTU, correct, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Uh, we've actually never played them before. However, I truly think that tonight's going to be an excellent match. I hope so. Uh, hope to see good things from LTU. Hope to see really good things from USM. We are a little biased here because, you know... <laughs> Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> rocking the colors here. Yeah, you know, but looks like we're getting in. People are starting to get in the lobby, so we still got we got a couple more minutes before game starts. Sure. Sure. Uh, do you have any question or any questions for me or anything you want to say? Uh, like no. any topics? I think tonight we're really gonna have to to look at fake plot Nick, uh, or aka just Nick. Uh, we're just gonna be referencing him as Nick the entire time. Yeah. Uh, he's the newest player to the Siege team. Uh, he is, I believe, a consistent plot. So he's a diamond this season, though. So it's really good. He is a solo queue master. Uh, but it definitely shows in his gameplay. Uh, and not in a bad way. He's a, he's a very excellent player. I think we'll definitely have to watch out for him tonight. Uh, I know on his scrims especially, he's been popping off a lot. That's, that's a lot. really good to hear. What do you expect to see from the returners, though? The returners, they're excellent, man. They're just... They're national champs. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you can only get... You get so far with that title, and you... <laughs> After well, that, you're just like, hey, yeah, we're national yeah. champs. What are you going to do about it? Uh, I know Reza is an absolute excellent player. Uh, I, I've seen the man's stats. I've seen the man play. And he just never ceases to amaze. Right. Amaze me. I mean, double-digit games every single time. Every single time? Every single time. No fail? No fail. I've seen this Ho Hopefully man. we did not just cast or curse Reza tonight. I, I hope that's I hope not he what goes like 1 in 30. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that, that's right. So talk to us about what a week on the Siege team looks like. A week on the siege team. Uh, it's just a lot of a lot of practice. Uh, aim is very very well, not aim in specific, but crosshair placement is very very influential in the game of siege. Uh, the one tap headshots, man. They're just they're they're just the most important part of siege. Some might say besides like maybe the droning and the information. Uh, I think this uh, a normal week in siege is normally just getting in the arena, playing some games. Uh, you know, everybody everybody trying to improve individually, and then when it comes to scrim nights. Then on scrim nights, it's okay. Now we take our individual skills, we put them together as a team, and we try stuff out. Right. And we build, and we build, and we build. 
You know what I mean? And and now we're now we're here. Now we're gaming. Now we're gaming. Now we're, we're gaming. Fi finally, the season starts. <laughs> season is starting. Y'all have been anticipating this for a while. Honestly, I didn't think it was ever gonna come. <laughs> I didn't think it ever was. Honestly. You thought you thought NACE was just about to be like, you know what, Siege? I'm sorry. <laughs> Have fun doing something Thought else. Thought it was going to be like Overwatch. Got to wait for the second one. Got to wait. <laughs> Got to wait for Rainbow Six, something else. Rainbow Biohazard. Six. Rainbow Six Siege 2. We're <laughs> <laughs> going to have a compressed season this week or this year for uh, Rainbow Six. Then we're going to have Rainbow Six 2. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just going to be, it's like the same game. It's just like better graphics. So I, I know Rainbow Six Biohazard came out. Yeah, yeah. Was that that's like correct? That's the uh, name of the, it's, I remember it was something else before. Is it Biohazard? I, Is that right? I, I'm going to say you're right. Okay. Because I've never played it. Okay, <laughs> what have you heard about the game since it's a, it, since it's technically the the sequel to your game, but it has some of the same characters, it but it's was, much more PVE. Yeah, it was it was a it was a branch off game uh, from the Operation Chimera a right. few years back because they had this thing called Outbreak. That's what, no, is that what it's called? O Outbreak was the original name, and yeah, uh, I think they changed it. Biohazards and the new name because they thought it was ill timed because of COVID and the out the COVID outbreak. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I think that game's just, it, it's just fun to just mess around on, truly. You know, it's just, it's PvE. You, you're never going against actual other people. There's no ranks. Right. Nothing like that. It's, it's just, not hyper competitive. It's no. more It's more just casual. It's like playing Call of Duty Zombies. You know what I mean? Or like Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Great. That's actually a great comparison, actually. Here, restarting the spectator game to fix your Okay, so okay, we're just uh, that's fine. hitting a quick restart on the, the... On the spectator point of view, real yeah. quick. So... Love Siege, man. <laughs> All right, so now we have the. Uh, we're going to get off Siege just for a second since we have some time to kill. What is your other favorite game other than Siege? You got to pick one. I'm not going to lie, man. Here recently, I've been loving Valorant. Like, I am, like, level 7. <laughs> but that game is fun, dude. Like, that game is... It, I'm sure it gets the, worse. The, the very precise movement shoot... I... I'm, I've played Valorant for a little bit. I'm only gold. I'm not good at the game. But That's that that game, is, that game is hard. Yeah, I'm sure it it's, it's rough. Yeah. Getting headshot. It's just like Siege. You get headshot from across the map. You're just like, what can I do? Yeah, what am I supposed to do now? Like, now I'm just spectating, right? <laughs> and there's no, like, drones you can hop on like no. in Siege. Like, you're just spectating. Well, dep depends on if you pick Cypher or not. True. So true. <laughs> I actually, I only have, like, the base characters. <laughs> <laughs> You uh, gotta get those unlock tokens, man. Yeah, yeah. What's your, what, what about you, man? Like, what games have you been playing here recently? Recently, I've been playing a lot of Divinity 2, Original okay. Sin. Yeah. Uh, I'm really into D&D &D and stuff like that, so... Yeah. Been thinking about Baldur's Gate 3. Okay. Not sure if I want to commit on that early access that's been in early access for two years. Huh? 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 What'd you say? <laughs> 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 so, I'm not sure if I want to commit on that, but... Yeah. A lot of those D&D &D type games. Other than that, Rocket League. Okay, okay. I no. play that too much. I don't understand Rocket League. So, <laughs> there goes a little fun fact about me. Uh, which favorite game of all time? Oh, Resident Evil 4. Okay. Easy. Okay. Fair enough. What's yours? Come on, then. No, I don't think we need to go there. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's just say, for the context of tonight, it's the game we're about to get into here in just a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege is his favorite game. Of on all time. On record. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Any, uh, what, what, okay, I, uh, you told me earlier that you haven't played since uh, Flores came out. That was a few seasons ago. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on the game as from the last time you played it? Like, what, what were your thoughts going, like, playing? So, last time I was playing, uh, I was around Plat 2. And yeah. really, Flores was about to be a huge game changer, and then I just burnt out. Okay. I, I yeah. remember all of me and my friends anticipating Flores coming out. Mm -hmm. We're, like... We're trying to hit that grind to diamond, yeah. and we're like, oh, no, explosive drones. What are we going to do about <laughs> it? And then we just stopped playing. Okay. Well. And then, and then I saw, is it Arumi? Aruni? Yeah. Aruni. Yeah, yeah. Just little laser gates. No, not know. that one. Okay. Uh, darts make, soft, or make hard walls. Oh, Azami. Yeah, that one. Azami. Okay. And yeah. I saw her afterwards. I'm like, oh, my God, they're just changing the entire game now. There's. Yeah, honestly, I thought I thought Azami was going to be much more of a game changer than she actually was. Like, is she, she has, not, is she not actually? She has great spots. Like, if you know how to play a good Azami, especially yeah. on a map like Clubhouse, which is our decider map, it's actually like Azami is very commonly ran for the upstairs CCTV hold, uh, CCTV and cache because right. the garage is just so important to hold when you're playing in that site. Right. And the Azami, ba the Azami barriers, uh, they can cover these little like. I guess splits right. that you can you can get shot from, and, and she works really well on that side. So if we ever do see a map three tonight, 
expect the Izami play, especially from our side. What are we expecting for bands? So we're going to start with Oregon. What are we expecting for bands from USM? We're not worried about what the other side's going to do. Okay. We're just going to say, because you know USM. I'm thinking we're going to see a, a Flores band for sure. I'm thinking Flores is going to be massive because... Is he still a huge game changer even well, after he was introduced in year five? Okay, so the thing with Flores is he cannot be captured by anything other than a mute chamber, okay? So if you are pushing a Flores drone up uh, and you are clearing utility because utility is such a huge part of the game right. now, then it is like you get, a complete game You get changer. information and you don't have to worry about Mozzie. Exactly. And, uh, well, actually Mozzie destroys them too. Oh, okay, you. never mind. Thank you for reminding me about that. Uh, it just destroys it though. You can't take yeah. it over. Uh, oh, that would be that would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a reset explosive drone. Let me throw it out. Here, have fun with that. He, uh, but Flores, he just he just changes the map whenever you're defending. Uh, the elbow hold on Oregon uh, when you're downstairs in the blue tarps, uh, having that deployable shield there with the rotate, it's just very influential. Uh, it, it, it causes a lot of headaches. And for, Flores can just get rid of it. And Flores just gets rid of it unless they bring a mute, which I'm also assuming that we will be playing tonight. USM will be playing. But a mute I do know a lot of times when if the Flores notices the mute jammer, he can go outside of its range and try to get right next to it or like zoom, like get as close as possible and blow up the mute jammer as well. Yeah, the range on Flores drones is insane. Honestly. It, it could be a lot worse because <laughs> we've seen a lot worse stuff going back to Chimera. We've, I mean, the lion when he first came out was just straight miserable. up outlines through walls. Yeah, just 100 percent. Lion was one of my favorites. I have a lot of Pro League <laughs> skins, and I'm very proud that I have lion and Finkas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that was. And I think for defense on USM side, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of. Uh, maybe a Valkyrie ban. I think we're gonna be seeing a Valkyrie ban. Uh, I know that USM just doesn't like messing with that. <laughs> they just don't like the cameras. Yeah, yeah. It looks like we're getting really yeah. close to ready to go. All right, so close. So close. We got everybody in the lobby. It's Everyone lobby. in the lobby. So, uh, have you done any research on the other team? Uh, I know some of the, some people on the team have. I'm seeing if you have personally. Uh, Mac ran me through like some of their ranks, some of their KDs and stuff. They don't look terrible. I'm going to be honest. I think we're actually going to be seeing a really great game tonight, maybe even a third map, Right. if we're being honest. And, I mean, it's, it's, it's time-consuming, yes, but I think it's going to be an excellent game. I think we're going to see some excellent kills, some excellent plays. Right. Uh, and I think that, that hopefully, not being biased, <laughs> we'll see USM turn out on top. All right, being a little biased, okay, USM, USM is going to win tonight. <laughs> no, no, no. We can't say that for sure. It's all, it's all in due time here now. Yeah, well... Maybe Reza will drop like one in thirty, and because we just jinxed them, we'll just if you lose. if you keep bringing it up, now he's just gonna drop forty five and two, <laughs> and just gonna completely I'm sweep the map. Reverse it, you know what I mean? <laughs> trying to reverse it. All right. Well, so, I know you're. This is your first semester with USM Esports, correct? Yeah, this is my first semester at USM. Period. USM. Period. I, I didn't know if you were a student that had just found out or a student that just came to USM. So yeah, yeah, it's my freshman year. Uh, what did you think the first time you saw? Uh, our space. Uh, I thought it looked excellent, man. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I, I walked past the the union, uh, and I was on tour with this guy named Campbell. Shout out Campbell. And I looked to my left, man, and I just see this massive room. It's full of computers. It's full of people playing games. I saw Siege being played. I saw Valorant getting played. And I was like, this place is awesome. I was like, this this is this is such a cool space. Right. And it's very it's very like. Open. Community is and community. Yes. yes. Looks like we are about to start. That looks like we're heading straight into Oregon. We're gonna be in Oregon. Uh, USM is gonna be attacking first. Let's see these bands. All right. Let's see. Let's see. What are you expecting right now? The orange team is. Uh, that's gonna be LTU. LTU. Yeah. So what do you expect? Or what do you think uh, they're gonna ban Thatcher. First? I'm, Thatcher. I'm thinking they're gonna pick the Thatcher. Because they got first ban. Yeah. I'm thinking the Thatcher. Uh, maybe something different. If they have something different, great. Zofia. Okay. Okay, uh, that one's... So this, this is a USM band, so this is what you're expecting Flores. I'm expecting the Flores here. That is what I'm expecting. If not... Maybe a okay. Jackal? Maybe a Jackal, maybe a Flores. I'm, I'm sticking to my guns, Flores. Fang. There, there you I go. Am. I'm there. Right there. I'm there. All right, and I'm expecting the Valk band. If not a Valk, maybe a Mirror. Valk or a Mirror. I don't want to... Oregon, yeah, Mirror. I could see Mirror happening. Yeah, Mirror. It, if if it's anything, like, anything I remember, then yeah, Mirror could also. But it's probably... I think it's going to float towards Valk. Yeah. Me too. I see it. There you go. The Valkyrie band. You, you know them too well. Yeah. What can I say? I play with these guys. Uh, <laughs> and then I think LTU. I don't, maybe, maybe they'll bring out the mirror band. Maybe like a Wamai. A Rooney. A Rooney band, probably, with the Zofia. Right. Maybe an Aruni band. I 
actually. Let's see it. A vigil. A vigil. Okay. So, so we got a Zofia vigil. Um, that is, is that standard? Is what no, they banned standard no, at all? No, absolutely not. Uh, the Zofia picks is actually very different. Rare? Uh, the vigil ban, low less so. Uh, let's see what everyone's picking. So let's we see got this lineup. We got Reza so, on I. Uh, we got Ace for Mac. He's always a designated hard breacher, isn't he? A designated hard breacher, and he wants to so pass got, that on to me. We got Drummond over there rocking the sledge, and Mosik with a knock. Yes, Lion knock. with Nick. Yes. Uh, so Mosik, he actually Defenders does not protect a good your bombs from being uh, One of by his attackers. best is he's a very solo player. He, he likes to push right. by himself. He will get somebody to draw him in, and then he will just go crazy with it. We're going to have a upstairs first with the Kaid, Cap and Smoke, Castle, and no we'll Lion. This is a pretty basic setup for an upstairs hold. Uh, castle barricade on the main window. Attackers have located a bomb. He's going to put it on uh, balcony door as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's been he's been picked a lot more here. Now that he has the super shoddy, right? The secondary. Uh, he's just he's great, man. He's a he's a great pick. Ten seconds uh, left. Almost any site, as long as you understand how to play in the game a bit. Looks like people are hiding drones. Five yeah. seconds. Two gotta love the good drone spots. Uh, the cap can rotate hole. Didn't really expect to see the cap can. Come out. I'm gonna be honest. I just didn't expect it. I know he's great this season. Uh, he's been very really good. Right, right. But I just did not expect him to come out. Defense uh, let's see. Let's see what happens here. We got two people in attic, a guy holding trophy. Oh, it looks like we're switching over to Mac. Okay, we got Mac. He's um, going up van and jump. He's going to jump on to the roof. Imagine he misses this. Okay, that's really <laughs> funny. Uh, he's going odds in. are we're going to see a an attic take. Probably, actually, probably attic window and big window. I that's good. That's good information he got right there. I saw the yeah. pain. He noticed that the door was, or not the door, the wall was like, yep, yep. letting everyone know about it. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like he picked up the claw from. I'm gonna guess the attic side. Yeah, and I think he's gonna double up the claw and then, uh, right. master just to just to make sure carefully that they don't get that wall. That wall is so influential. Here's Nick. Side. Is he running the the LMG? No. What? Oh, oh, that that's uh, embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that didn't happen. As you can see, though, we have four nades. We have, wow, we have, we have six nades. We had six nades. Now we have four. Uh, and the EMP gadget, that's new what is, what is, uh What do you think Mozik used his grenades on? I, we're not watching his point we of view. We actually so. didn't see that. Maybe he was trying to nade underneath. Or Possibly. It looks like he's on the white stairs. So he might, he might have just been trying to nade off the... Uh, I, There's I, a deployable I, shield right there on... Attic door. Attic door. Mm -hmm. And then there's smoke on the line. That's really going to be a lot of trouble for the USM squad trying to push in. Right. Soon. Here's a here's a soft after charge. This is a new new thing. He's gonna deny it again. So we're okay. Well, get, well, we got big kills coming out. Reza gonna be dropping one. Mozik Mozik also dropping another. We're gonna have two headshots there. This is getting a little crazy. Mozik gonna be on low HP though. Reza not taking any damage when that gunfight. Use one of his nades though. All right, we're gonna. Uh, have a Nick is hurt a little bit. Uh, yeah. There goes the Ionid clone. He knows where he's at now though. I think I think we might see a Reza swing here. Uh, I think we have wall open. Uh, let's see what happens. We got Mac pushing in on the master. So here we go with oh, the peak. Oh, he saw him on attic. Zone. He's gonna not. He's gonna hold. hold oh, he's gonna Reza with another kill. Oh my gosh. Reza just in the site completely. Reza. Reza just, Reza just went in. through. Destroyed them all. What an excellent round there from Reza. Nice little 3K. Ayana's gun that shared with Ash, you know that. <laughs> yes, the G3. The G3. Gotta love the G3. We love uh, the G3 here. So we honestly, got a great round from USM. Yes. Truly. Uh, I think they lost one person. If I'm not so saying. they're running almost the exact, they exact same exact same setup. I, I'm if it's not of, if it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> oh, I, I I don't think that's quite true. And see, sometimes you really need to change it. <laughs> you do need to fix Malusi, it. Malusi, Cap, Can. So Legion, we're gonna see a bunch Lamar, of trap whatever. ops here. Okay. So they didn't like the fact that Reza got into the site as right. quickly as he did. So they're gonna be trying to hold the upstairs again this time with the Malusi on top white, most likely. And we're not gonna be are we gonna be seeing the guy? No. Okay. So Max just gonna have free range on this wall here. Uh, we have they might put a lesion down in front of it though to to hit him a little bit while he goes to throw the hard breach on but he doesn't have to quite be in the room either they might try to trap the door from balcony though this is true I, I'm seeing I'm seeing some good Malusi placements I don't understand the cap can pick uh, he didn't really do much. He did not really do much last round. I mean, you just drawn him out and you just shoot the cap hands. It's really not that difficult to, to overtake that. It looks like we're going to see Reza pushing from the white stairs again based on his drone position. And it looks like we're going to have Malusi playing tower? Big tower? Malusi. Maybe area? Okay. Malusi is just actually... Roman. 
just roaming. They're just going to have completely them. away from sight. So we're going to see what USM can do with that. We're going to see how USM handles this roam game. How many reinforcements did they use? Uh, oh, they're, it's cut off. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's see. I do know that reinforcement uh, usage is really important in this. Making sure you use all 10. Uh, last time I played, everyone had two. That means everyone had to do their part. Now you don't have to do that. No, There's no. just 10 for the entire team. Looks like Nick's going to be entry fragging here. You're going to be pushing into the dining room area, small tower, holding the shower hallway. Mosey going to be pushing into the shower hallway. Looks like they're going to split I'm up. I'm sure that was Drummond on the opposite side of that wall. Yep, it is. Gonna gonna keep, gonna be the he's gonna. He, he's probably. He heard something. They pinged it. Yep. Okay. So they know they They know that Malusi is playing yeah. meeting yeah. side. Okay. There. Someone went down to a basement. I don't know exactly which one of them. They could be missing a few shots. He knows that there's one over there though. He's gonna force them with his, with his uh, lion drone. Yep. With the lion's gun. Mosey gonna be taken down from the tap for the Thunderbird. Man, no HP taken on the Thunderbird. We're gonna see how. How they can capitalize on this. We're going to see how LTU can capitalize on the plays that are being made right now. Uh, it looks like Mac's taking a little bit of damage from impacts. Uh, that's kind of a weird Mac play. has opened successfully. He's opened the wall, ready for it. He's going to peek that. Oh, no. He gets a he, he gets a shot tap. onto the cap can, though. Barely missed the tap. The cap can healed Nick a little bit. Nick refragging. When did the other kill happen? <laughs> right. All right, we got Malusi down. That means the roam clear's done. That means they just have to Drummond focus just their got attention a double kill. on site. They right. have to focus their attention on site now. Uh, oh, there goes Wamai. There goes the Wamai on the big window peak. That's kind of crazy. Oh, that yeah, with the cap can play. See, uh, see, the, that's why they picked cap. It should be one. This is very winnable from the cap can. This is very, very winnable. That, the double cap can. All right. So, oh, Reza going to be taking him out there. It Reza is. gets the G3 again. Hit him with wow. it. Wow. Reza truly the eye on him, man. We all need it in our lives. What a shot. I don't know what that cap can was holding right there, but... He wasn't expecting him to peek from uh, Absolutely. I think the bottom was corner. For the, I think he was waiting for him to jump in. I think yeah. that's what that was. Trying to play the off angle. I respect the play very much. Let's see. Are we going to have the exact same setup again? Okay, yep. the Habana this time. But Habana We're, this time. I'm going to guess USM is expecting them to go laundry and supply, which it looks like they are. The Tachanka being pulled out. Tachanka. Good round so far. So true. So very true. <laughs> Right, Some right. slight, uh, slight banter. <laughs> slight banter. All right, so we're going to be All on the bottom way. floor now. They're, we're going to be bringing the mirror that I was worried about, and they're going to be holding the elbow. With uh, Tachanka's new setup being he has the, he has a Molotov, basically. Okay, you see the orange right now, what he's reinforcing? That yes. is going to be very pivotal into USM's attack. Because normally what you want to do on that wall is you want to make holes that watch the top of back stairs. Right. Big, big Tower stairs. Without that hole, Big Tower stairs is going to be free range as soon as USM takes out everybody from Pilgrim. Right. And that is just going to, that is so much map control that is so necessary on this map. And he just took it out for his he own just team. He took it out for his own team. I'm not blaming him for it. They might have a setup. They might have a great setup here. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm really hoping to see some excellent plays here from LTU. Uh, looks like we have a Goyo in Garage. Okay, I was about to say, there's no way he's playing in there. <laughs> the Goyo is still just kind of shooting out towards main door. All right, let's get this round started. Did he wait five seconds for that spawn peek? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have Goyo playing on the bottom stairs mirror. We're gonna have a cap can inside freezer. So Tachanka gonna be holding Tachanka's the ability now, uh, I remember when he got reworked, it's now just a Molotov launcher. Yeah, yeah, and it, it, it shoots very far, and his uh, main gun now is his LMG from back yeah. in the day. Very strong weapon. Well, you can choose the other gun if you want to, well, but that, you're trolling. Yeah, yeah, nobody wants to do that. Mm -hmm. Everybody Everyone wants LMG. How, how often do you see a Tachanka pick in games like these? In games like these, very rarely. Uh, they must have a great, and there goes the orcs getting takeout from Fake Plot Nick. Uh, not sure exactly where this guy died from. Looks like a dining room area that he died from. Not looks sure. like Oryx was probably getting a little too happy on big yeah. tower stairs, actually. That's what actually, it looks like. You're absolutely right. Let's see. All right, so we're checking for cow cans here. Looks like music. he looks for it in the basement. Here goes... Yeah. The sledge going straight in, looking upstairs. This looks like we're gonna, we're gonna see we're gonna see Drummond here go down the main stairs. The main stairs it kind of got obsolete whenever they added when they reworked this map. Normally, right. main stairs would be your main push area. Now the backside is just so viable for attackers and defenders alike that everybody just kind of kind of focuses on that. Right. That's why you don't see anybody behind the mirror right now you inside. Saw oh, somebody punched it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I saw, because we can see through walls in the spectator view, I saw him lay down. He knew that someone was pushing main stairs, and he just hid from it. Here goes. We're going to see a great kill from Drummond on the Goyo. Let's see. Holding the angle. Good fight right there. Here. See, there's the Molotov. There's the Molotov. Yeah, that alarm Reza goes with away. with a grenade kill. 
This, this Here goes Yana. Kills. Fake kills. Here goes the clone. He's going to peek it. Right, he knows he's behind the bomb. Saw him behind the bomb. He's going to call it out for him. For sure. He's going to. Okay, the mirror side out. For sure. He looks in the mirror to see anybody. There goes no Drama. One? Nice job. It's going to be a 5v1 on site. We're going to have a going down now from Mac. Mira is. no. I don't know where Mira is at at this Mira. moment. I don't Mira's going to be taking out Backlat Nick on the back stairs, though. <laughs> Mira is. Nowhere to be found. They might be just regrouping, talking. Uh, it's very commonly played as in a 5v1 scenario. You just want to talk to your team, tell them where everything went wrong. Mirror's or we could be stairs. seeing a little flank coming from the main stairs. Mirror's then it come through meeting, pushing all the way back, back around. Uh, looks like we actually have audio call on it. Matt going to be holding the angle, going to be taking the kill. No, oh, Matt, Matt gets absolutely dropped. destroyed. It's going to be a 3v1. Not enough time, though. There's Re just no way that he gets in there. Yeah, but he might get a couple use. frags and shift the momentum. And there oh, there's Reza, Reza with the kill. Reza pops up as he peeks. Watch this. He peeks, he draws his fire out as Reza jumps up, mm. and just, that was good team play for me. That, that, was, that, was, that was a good way play. to retake sight. Mac did just get drop shotted, though. Yeah, that I, was. I, we saw that. Uh, so we got, we had a 5v1 on site. I'm not exactly sure how. It could have gone very well for them, but yeah, that, that was about as well as I think it could have gone. Yeah, absolutely. For how well they're holding it. Uh, so we're actually going to be seeing a bit of a change up here on the LCU side of. Alibi? We're going to be seeing an Alibi. We're going to be seeing a Rook with a P90. That's that's going to be interesting. Uh, Rook Armor now uh, has a self res capability. If you have right. Rook Armor on, then you can actually uh, revive yourself again. We're going to be seeing the Tachanka again. Is that a thing? Wait, that's a thing? You can revive yeah, yourself yeah. if you have Rook Armor on? It's like, you remember Sophia Withstand? Yeah. It's like that. It's just hmm. like that. It's just a new change if they're playing on the most recent patch. I'm not sure they are. Um, I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah. They're playing on live, so yeah, they have yeah, to. Yeah, for sure. They're not um, playing on test servers. You see the Tachanka reinforcing that same wall again. But that was such a pivotal part of how they lost last exactly. round. Too. I think that the, the USM's ability to push down the main stairs is just so massive. Right. In the back stairs, only the because they only because they can't see it. They can't. Yeah. They don't have any vision towards there. They they don't have a mirror this time, do they? Yeah. No, they don't. No, they're not playing the mirror. Uh, they are playing the mute though. So maybe that would make the drones a little. Looks less. like he's actually just holding big tower stairs this time. Looks like the chunk is sitting on big tower. Is no. that a T-bird in classroom that I'm seeing right now? That is. Oh my god, Tiber might have the biggest kill ever seen. Let's see. Let's see. We got a yellow ping on the T-Bird. T-Bird not gonna expect it. Oh, easy kill for Drummond there. Drummond in the saw the hole. He saw the hole, and I believe that it was Max Strong that had the Z pings so, on them. Whenever you enter a door like that, is it always super common to look for those little Heidi holes just in case someone is being sneaky. I've actually never seen the classroom play like that, but normally for this map, you always want to make sure you're checking most of your ankles. Right, because there's so many soft walls. All right, see how oh, hey, you got a lot, a lot of once. vocal comms, not pings on map that are just revealing exactly where exactly. the entire team is. Exactly. We got guys coming down freezer stairs right now. Gonna be trying to take out the mute. We got Nick gonna be playing inside meeting area. Needs the hatch open. They didn't reinforce hatches, I'm noticing. Uh, None, no hatches were reinforced. No hatches they reinforced. got main stairs hatch, and now they have meeting room, and nothing is stopping them from taking over. Yeah, uh, it looks like it's gonna be a 4v5 just straight up on site, 4v5. I'm surprised we don't see the sledge playing more, ver or our sledge playing more vertical. Drummond over there, he's not playing from above in meeting room. He's just trying to push with his team. The issue with this map in specific is that playing vertical on anything, you can't, you really can't play vertical on anything for downstairs unless it's the hatches. And the hatches, they really don't show you very, very much. You normally can just see the rotations and stuff like that that's happening. Right. But it looks like we're about to get maybe a little somebody coming down main. Nice tag there onto the guy in big color. Flash, and there goes the, there's the clone. There's the mute. There's the mute. Everybody's. That was a wow. grenade kill. Nice job. Truly, truly a, a nice push from USM. The way that they took care of the rollers very early pushed everybody back into the site. And right. Was just able to collapse onto that. Actually, beautifully played by USM there. And now we switch. No. 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 no that switches. Was, oh, yeah. sorry. Switches six, in six. Six. Yes. six. Sorry. Switches at six. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They're running it back. They're running it back again. But it looks like we're gonna be seeing LCU gonna be playing the kitchen and dining hall. This is a very different site than what it used to be. This this now is a very viable site. Never mind, never mind. It's a switch on the kids' dorms. They're gonna be going back to the second again. floor. Right, but they don't. Uh, but yeah, USM's allowed to switch when they yes. can see where they're at, and yes. I'm expecting to see that Habana switch out from being Habana straight to Ace. Straight to an Ace, absolutely. Uh, we actually have a Azami getting played on this map, but with the 
slug shotgun. So not exactly sure how that's, well. a, that's a slug shotgun with 31 rounds? Yes, that's a yeah, slug that, shotgun. That, is it automatic? Yes. Oh god. <laughs> it's not very fast fire rate though, it's just, it's a very like... Doo, 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 doo. It's like, it's like the AA-12. Uh, from Modern Fair. Yeah, it's actually called the AA-12, so there is you it? go. Merry Christmas. Yep. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well, uh... I'm trying to relate it to like old school ge video games, and this this game just proved me wrong all the time. I see it. <laughs> mm, we got an interesting hold here. Uh, they're using trap ops, but not really using utility ops. We're not seeing a thorn. We're not seeing the Malusi. We're we're just seeing trap. We, we do characters. see we do see a Thunderbird on their side, adding some healing onto their side. A Thunderbird came out after my time. I'm not. I'm only slightly familiar with her little uh, first aid station. Yeah. Or whatever it's actually called. Absolutely. Uh, the. The best way for me to describe Thunderbird is just very influential. Uh, you can win a lot of Drummond gonna be taken down from a late spawn peak. No, no, but you they got the trade. trade. They trade. Nice that shot from Drummond there. Truly a nice shot. And he Nick. got he got scared per se. <laughs> I was probably a little caught off guard. Scared definitely. might might not be the correct word. Definitely but uh, caught off guard. definitely. There's one in meeting, one in meeting, I'm doing high split. Oh, that's a good drone. So we got a good drone in meeting. So we know there's one in meeting, which means that the, the final three players are most likely going to be Alibi, going to be taking a lot of damage through the wall, though. It looks like USM is really going to be trying to capitalize off this Alibi in meeting right. hall, but I don't already think that, taken I, out I, I don't Nick. think, from what I can hear from them, I don't think they noticed that he traded. I think they're still worried about the person that was peeking. Uh, I'm they Which is the frost? Well, they know it's a four v three, so I'm sure. I'm sure they. I'm sure they. Know. I'm. I'm per they, they might have caught on now, but I don't think right away they realized that it was a trade. Yeah, that was a crazy trade. I didn't even realize it. Uh, uh, that was a heck of a trade. That was a good shot. That was a great shot by Drummond. He's good. At, I, I see that Drummond's really good at flicking. <laughs> He's actually uh, the best drummer this side of the Mississippi. True yeah. story. So uh, he, is, he is in the band, correct? Yeah, he's in the pride. Shout out to Casey. Woo. Casey. Mr. Drummer Man himself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, so we know we're seeing the zombie top e white. Easy call for top white right there. Absolutely. And so when we see a nade underneath, the zombie going to be taking so much damage from that nade from below. Ooh. Nick going to be taking out frost mats. We have a great collapse going on here. Great we're, we're almost on site. Nick is holding right next to Attic. And most of be getting another frag. Oh, my God. Oh, there goes oh the cap no, contract. The cap can I'm going to be taking him and, out. We got and there one goes guy added, one guy playing box. This, this the Thunderbird get the Thunderbird secures the kill right there too. This might be a little bad for, for the, uh, the Azami. Just all of the all of That's the hard balls. Oh, Matt gonna be taking them out on the holes. Excellent job. Actually, refrags right he there. Threw something to distract them as if they were breaching from a different angle, and then just jumps in and gets them. I'm pretty sure he just didn't expect the guy to run out. I think he was just trying to get another angle. <laughs> <laughs> So, We're seeing a great game from Reza and Drummond here. I mean, right. excellent top frags. Uh, Reza is still has yet to die. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we did not cast a curse. Thank goodness for that. Cause we were so close. You said one in what? Thirty-five? Yeah, something like that. Definitely, definitely not going there. He's just hot tonight. We, there's no caster curse that can make this man not perform tonight. He is locked in. I'm really liking the roles that they're playing, that USM is playing here. They're really truly playing the, the very, very hard entry frag, but with the ability to play the support, if right. you understand what I'm saying. Uh, I think that's... See, he's, he's really good at entry fragging because Yana, or Yana can clone for herself, but I see him pushing with Mozik a lot. Yes. So they're both right there. He clones out, he goes up white stairs, notices someone white stairs, and then Mozik peeks it with a real gun. Absolutely. Because the clone, you know, can't yeah. shoot. Yeah, and I think I think it's also really important that we see uh, the 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 uh, the Ayana and Mozik uh, pushing together. Right. The four nades, man, they're just so impactful. And as you can see from the side of LTU, we're not seeing any type of of, of gadget control. Right. We're not seeing we're not seeing a Gega. We're not seeing the Lamai. We're not seeing we are seeing a Rooney. Okay, I didn't see the Rooney. Respectfully. We have a Mozzie this time on the other side. We have a Mozzie. It looks like they're switching it out to be more as if a utility, utility. and drone. Yeah, a utility Capture. base. Now, if we would just bring like the mute instead of the frost, I feel like we'd have a great squad. Or maybe the mute instead of the Legion, even. Right. Yes. So we got we got two people pushing small tower here. We got Mozik and then probably the Ayana again. They're gonna be just taking here goes, here goes Mozik. He's gonna peek. He's, He's holding hold the it. Z hallway. Z hallway. I don't think they know that there's a guy's hot freezer yet. Drummond might swing this and die. Okay. Drummond and heard him Drummond down the heard stairs. Him. And we have a Z ping on there, so I believe that they know exactly where this guy is. 
He's hit by a lesion. Moses is <laughs> gonna peek for him. Drummond's gonna take the lesion out of his foot. I hate I hate having a lesion in my foot, man. <laughs> All right, so it's looking like the Legion just completely backed off here, not wanting to take the one-on-one -on -one engagements that we're seeing from a lot of these See, other players. These one-on-one -on -one engagements are actually really critical for the other team to capitalize on. Oh no, Matt, going to be caught in the vault animation, not going to be able to kill the Frost there. Frost is going to be able to back up. Is and he going to throw a grenade just in time for it to blow up on the ceiling? Yeah, yes. yeah. And then uh, to the Aruni, just taking massive damage. I will say, these I nades not, underneath are incredible. I incredible. am not that good at throwing nades like that. It's just, it's all timing. It's all timing. Nick, gonna be inside Master Bedroom, gonna be taking over the spot. He shoots through the wall to get a little peek through. He sees the bullets coming through, he knows someone's there to challenge him. He sees the shoulder of the Frost, I'm pretty sure, maybe not. Frost might, be, might just peek he him here. He sees the door now, he actually has view, and now he has a way to hold. I We're think gonna be he's seeing another nade from below there. Nick has him stuck in... Armory. Armor. Yes, yes, we have, we have Thank a guy you stuck for, in armory. you know, picking up what I'm trying to say. No, you're all good, you're all good. So, it looks like they know they have a guy in kids. Nick gonna be missing some massive shots there that, onto that the castle. That could have been so clutch. The Mozzie drones him out. Yes. Here goes, here goes the lion. Okay, so we got a 4v5. It looks like all five no. on side. Drumming gonna be taken down! No! No, no uh, Legion's first killed around. Ressa just gonna get headshotted instantly by the DMR. Right it's gonna be up to Nick, and it's gonna be up to Mozik to, to, to really turn this round around. No, Nick, Nick gonna down. be taken down. It just looks like a great hold here from LTU. I just think they finally picked the right ops. You know what I mean? Right, here goes Mozik picking up one. Mozik's gonna be taking up one. We're in a 1v5 situation here. He saw the guy on on the rotate in the attic. Knows one's flanking, hitting the big shots. We got a 1v3. 1v3 for Mozik for the ace. Let's see how he does it. We got 20 seconds left on the round. He's taking out the lesion. Right. No, it's and it's gonna be the pre-fire. Obviously, we can see a little bit ahead of time. We can see him slow peeking right there. Absolutely. He was not watching that. He did not no. expect that side to be the one that got. That's the Peaked. one round that we saw USM lose there, and I believe it all started from the ace holes. I feel like the ace holes just were not where they were the last few rounds. Right. And that it caused was a little a, off. And that caused a, a false line of sight. He also got caught in the middle of his vault animation, couldn't Absolutely. open up anything else. Absolutely. So now what are we seeing from USM? We're seeing a Jaeger, a Mute. We are seeing the most meta setup I have ever seen in my life. That <laughs> is what we're seeing right now. All right, so we're seeing the Drummond on the Jaeger, Reza on the Mute, Mozik on the Malusi. Nick on Alibi. Nick has has a great alibi. I'm That's gonna it. say it. I have seen this man play ranked. He's opening holes already. I see him on his shotgun pistol. He's already opening holes for his team. Okay, they are holding. They are holding top floor. So it looks like, honestly, if I'm being honest here, it looks like USM just has more of an idea of how they want to set up their sites. They're doing it faster. They're doing it quicker. We got 20 seconds till the prep phase is over. We already have Rooney Gates. We already have head holes. We have pretty much all utility down. Uh, right. I'm just seeing a lot of a lot of. A lot of strategizing and a lot of prior knowledge to this a map. A running gate on main window, and then what? Oh, he's making footholes. He's making the footholes, and he's making the uh, the, the holes underneath. Those are very pivotal in a post plant I scenario. I see a Rooney is really useful, other than just her gates. It's yes. the punches that can replace a shotgun. The punches that replace the shotgun is actually her best ability, and I mean that fully. It is just such a great passive ability. Having that mechanical arm has really proven her advantage. <laughs> Yes, I everybody mean, knows I, that I machines will take over. Huh? Everybody knows machines always take over. Right. Stronger, faster, better. No. <laughs> so, what I'm seeing here is that from scrims, I've, I see them play this top floor site a lot. And I'm seeing a lot of the same stuff. We have three people playing down small, small tower side. And we have a guy in server, we have a guy holding the shower hallway, and we have a guy in dining. Right. Okay. These are the three most important. Drummond's just gonna be instantly taking this, gun, taking out the blitz with the headshot, none the, uh, to say the least. That's right. what I was looking for. I'm just what yeah, words <laughs> they escape you. English is hard, man. I used to say that all the time when I used when I did the Rocket League streams. English is hard, man. English is hard. Drummond gonna be holding the same angle. Not looking like anybody's going for a refrag on the blitz. So this is so weird. Oh, there goes the Ana clone. Oh, there's gets, Drummond. Gets, Drummond with a second kill gets, of the round. Excellent shots there. Come on, zero. Excellent shots. I think Zero was going to go for the refrag onto the Blitz. Just right. could not hit the shots. They're it's going gonna... up main stairs. It looks like the last three people are going to be pushing all the way up main stairs together. And I feel like this is going to be... No one had armor helpful. to catch them either, though. Nobody really plays armor. It's just very, like, enclosed space. It's not very right. very fun to play. We have nobody in Master, though. I think that's going to be very influential. I was going to say, I did see them holding armor a lot, but yeah. I don't see USM caring about that room. That room for them is just... It's just there. It's and we have needed. Nick sitting here playing on the head holes in the attic. Nick has an excellent shot. Unless he just whiffs completely, we might see three kills here from Nick. We got That's one on the Yana. That's Yana coming right there. 
He knows it's a clone. He's going to get. He's the Ayana going to be taking one shot. That was a great hit. Right that was there. that was a great shot. Okay, it doesn't look like they have enough information to know that the last three people are there. Most going to be going for a huge flank onto the main stairs. Lion might not hear it. No, they hear it. Reckless is going Reckless, to oh, Reckless Reckless get is gonna get the flank. 4v2, what are they going to do? They, they know they're both on main stairs now. Yes, they do. And it's only 45 seconds left in the round. They still have to deal with the out of body attic holding a passive angle. Reza going to be playing yeah. underneath still with that. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, he has this. He gets shot. He gets oh, Jaeger. excellent kill from he gets on, Get lucky. Kill from Drummond. Here again, goes Nick. He's trying to peek out of attic. Again, I think we might see Nick get three kills here. I'm going to say it. Uh, I just think he has the mechanical skill to do so. Here, oh, the there. lion going to be taking big damage there. Big damage from lion. Lion's going to back out. Big damage from big damage. They only damage. have 20 seconds to get on side. They have to frag out now. They have to either frag out or try to get a plant down, but Reza underneath. Oh, Matt going to be getting a long shot. Matt gets two. Matt gets, Matt gets two, two for the round. See, Excellent hold Matt there from USM. Matt has now just stolen. Now, now that's just three, straight thievery from Matt. <laughs> Stealing it right from Nick's fingertips. Matt, you know, the captain of the squad. Really, really deserving those kills there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All jokes here. Matt definitely had a better shot on him. Nick was hurt. We have an we still have an excellent game here from Drummond and Reza. I mean, they are just they are just getting the kills. They are being influential. It is now a competition between who frags <laughs> out now. Uh, I believe we're going to be seeing about the same setup, maybe on the downstairs hold this time, most Two likely. Two of our returning players are just fighting for the top. Frag. <laughs> you got a mute Jaeger. This is the exact same setup. I believe it is. And oh, Mac actually okay. switching off the arena, going to be on the Kaid now. This is a downstairs hold. It makes sense. Let's see what they do compared to what the other team did. Yeah, they're only reinforcing half. Okay, so Where what they're, they're going to do is, I believe Drummond is playing on the shotgun with the mute. I believe he's going to be making the head holes. I think he's going to make head holes freezer and pillbox, and I believe he's going to be making the head holes on the wall that LTU just kept reinforcing. Yeah. The, the very influential head holes. Uh, Where do we see up big tower stairs? I was like, he's just dropping some Same barb. with Mozik. Mozik is going to put his Malusi right there. So it looks like from the Jaeger placements I'm seeing, it looks like we're going to be seeing a hold on the pillar. Right. And, and I feel like that's going to be something that LCU is just going to have to deal with. And it's going to be very, uh, very not challenging for them, but it's going to take a lot of work. Because right. with Nick on the Jaeger, Nick is just such an excellent player, you know? You see, I'm so used to playing with my friends. I, I walk around with that that revolver, and I get a <laughs> random headshot lineup with my friend. I'm just going to shoot. I'm just going to troll and shoot him. He's going to be like, dude, what the heck? A little bit more trigger discipline from our pros here, yeah. you know? <laughs> Me and my friends always troll with each other. So uh, we're going to have a freezer hold with the shotgun. This is going to be massive. This shotgun here does so much damage. Uh, just Especially with this close angle that it can only go so far out. And if, I mean, I just, I don't see, unless I see pivotal mistakes from USM squad, they have a great setup here. They have, here they have great roamers. And I just think that they're going to hold this side down excellently. That impact to go to Attic, just That's allowing just himself to get to out get of out. Big Tower. Absolutely, absolutely. Back in the day, you have to use two impacts to get out of Attic. True story. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do remember that because Attic used to just be enclosed on both sides. <laughs> and it's just very sad. Alrighty. Here goes the gridlock. Yeah, we have a roam clear going on. They're, they're playing that gridlock now because of the flank that Mozik almost pulled off on the last round right. with the Malusi. I think that's why they gridlock pulled off the gridlock. Gridlock is very great flank denial because you have to start shooting oh, them. Oh, the Blitz going to be taking massive damage here. It looks like Drummond's going to be having some trouble on the stairs with the Blitz himself. Oh, no. Zero going to be peeking in with him. Zero taking some taking some shots. I think, I think honestly, Drummond is just, just you know. Blitz is going to come down the stairs first, I'm sure. Absolutely. It looks like we're seeing an ADS from Blitz. Let's make it a one-tap here. Hold on. Oh, there's the Blitz. There's the Blitz. Oh. Down. Drummond. Oh, my God. No. Drummond oh. going to be taking two down, but the Havana is going to catch him. Lacking a little bit. On the missed shot, Mozik going to be gonna getting go the refrag, confirm though. Confirm that kill. Absolutely, Mozik getting a refrag. They know there's we're no now, stairs we're now. We're now watching Reckless on the enemy team. He's going to be challenging Mozik on main stairs right here. I feel like with 50 seconds left, they have to get this kill now. They're, but Mozik not going to be letting him. Excellent Mo reaction Mozik, time there. Mozik did not get the headshot he wanted, though. It's okay, because he did damage. He's scared. You know what I mean? Now he, he has to hold him. a passive angle. He heard, he heard the guy he down there. He knows they're on main stairs. Oh, That's excellent shot from Mosek for two! Mosek with the two. two. Excellent shots there, excellent plays. Absolutely amazing, amazing job from USM squad there. I, there we go, 7-1. Seven, 7-1 seven, victory. Map number one gonna be going to USM R6.
Wow. What USM, a game. USM had an excellent hold right there. Excellent, excellent, excellent match. Right. Excellent match. What do you expect to see from them in CAFE? CAFE, from what I've been told by the USM squad, it is, it is a, a map that they're not very comfortable on. Right. They, they, they try not to play it as much as they can. This was a map picked by, by the, the LTU. Yeah. This is a map picked from LTU. They must have watched some of our VODs and noticed that we don't play CAFE very often. Most likely. Uh, CAFE is just a very, very, very basic map. Everybody has a, has a push. You start from the top, you work your way down. If you're there in the bottom, you just you just take Bakery, pretty much. You get some vertical going on the second floor, and you take Bakery. Right. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of the soft breachers, and I think instead of the maybe maybe an Ace or a Thermite, I don't think we'll be seeing a Habana right. on this site. Uh, I don't You're gonna see a lot more of the oh. either jump, jumping through or standing walls, just yes. complete breaks. Not, yes. not what we were expecting from Habana, where you just get some type of peaking into Absolutely. site. Absolutely. Absolutely. And talking about this last game that we just had here, USM's ability to to refrag really, really saved them a couple of rounds. Right. Uh, I think, I think the one round that they lost, it just, it came down to a lot of mistakes. No Maybe trading. Maybe a lot of no trading shots. Missed shots, especially. Uh, and that's just something that happens in the game of Siege sometimes. Sometimes you just miss. Right. And that's okay. But I did notice one thing. Drummond don't miss. Drummond. <laughs> especially when a frost peaks you and you just <laughs> turn. He's the best player I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, and I've been saying that. Uh, I mean, there were some kids from Optic that looked half as good well, as what Drummond looks like now. I think okay. Drummond versus Prime Scump, I think Drummond takes it. No diff. Easy. <laughs> uh, I'd love to see that matchup. <laughs> All right, uh, someone take notes. We need to get that matchup going right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, talking about this Oregon game that we just had here, uh, the attacks from USM were just so pivotal. Right. I mean, they just, they just, they were able to get the roamers out it's, so quickly. Especially with what you said in the basement hold, they were cutting themselves off at the knees. Yes. With Absolutely. Reinforcing that one wall, not being able to watch big tower stairs. They get to push back site free, and they they also pinch. Pinch them in with pushing down main stairs as well. Exactly. It's a great, it's a, it's what a Siege players, uh, maybe some Overwatch players, you might know this as well. It's what we like to call a collapse onto site. Uh, or as Overwatch calls it, a dive. Uh, <laughs> uh, and it's just when you have, you know, one guy on the backside, you have two guys pushing from one side and then two guys pushing from the other, and you just all come in at the same time. You frag out, right. or you get a plant down, which, I mean, post-plant scenarios for any defenders, you know that it is, a, it is a very hard situation to get out of. Post-plant right. in this game is just absolutely crazy to try to get through. Right, because there is no retake. It's not like Valorant. Valorant, after you put down a uh, spike in Valorant, yes. retake is actually a strategy. Yes. In six, Retake is hard. Retake is you hard. Don't, you, you don't have, have on your ones. You don't have a lot of utility that you can just throw out. You have a lot of utility on defense that you have to place down. Absolutely. And it has to be already there. Yes. But in other games, you have a lot of utility that each person can just throw. Absolutely. At any time, it doesn't matter. But this game, that's only the attackers. Only the attackers <laughs> have the outward force. Exactly. And honestly, the the setups that I saw USM playing, they were very good tactical team comps. And I feel like every player knew their role and executed it almost perfectly, except for that one round. Right. Let's be honest here. The cap can did throw them off a little bit though, so maybe we might be seeing like a little bit of a cap can ban. I doubt it because Valkyrie is just a Super. mess. But <laughs> maybe. that cap that cap can did get a couple uh, people down. This is true. I think it three overall. Uh, which is a lot. Of, yes. That was a lot for the cap can because the cap can obviously wasn't in too many of the gunfights, mm -hmm. but knocking someone down puts them out. It, it's 20 it, HP, man. You're just one shot. Right. Yeah. It doesn't matter what gun you get shot by. You could get shot by a pistol. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I think going into this cafe game, we're going to be seeing seeing USM hit a little bit more of their shots. They're warmed up now. I think we'll see LTU actually, actually, you know, putting up a little bit more of a challenge. Because, because they're also warmed up. They're, now they're warmed up as well. And I'm sure everybody plays their T-hunts before their game. But this, you just cannot get the same feeling as being inside one. Th this is... This is both teams are a little bit more warmed up. This is their map. Oregon was our map. We were ready yes. for Oregon. Yes, we're Cafe's ready. not our pick. That's their pick. They yes. must have something crazy ready for us. And we might have to go to Decider because of it. They might pull out the Roy strat. I don't know if you know who your boy Roy is. Mm -hmm. He's a YouTuber. They might pull out the Roy strat where they just shoot Tachanka pellets through the skylight and it lands on Bakery Door. That is a crazy strategy. I've seen it played a few times in some higher ranks. It's actually very effective. It's actually a very, very cool strategy. That just sounds nasty. It is. It's it's disgusting, actually. <laughs> it uh, just sounds like it's a heartbreaker. You get hit by this chonka pellet and you're just probably like, what in the heck? I'm pretty sure you guys can see on the screen right now the most beautiful man on the CH team, 
Reza himself. Reza himself. Reza himself. I mean, this man, this man's an absolute beast. I'm pretty sure Drummond outfragged him by the end of the game, if right. I'm not mistaken. However, Reza is just such an influential player. The man is the best injury fragger I've ever seen. I th I've noticed that he's taking more on a support role with the Ayana, the droning. He drones a lot of people in. But he's also, it's also half self-serving as well. Yes. He's, he's not doing it wholly, like this yes. is, he, this is him playing as a team. Like yes. he is the fragger, but he also is picking someone with a good gun, as well as someone that can support the team. As well. Exactly, I agree completely. And we're not going to downplay any of the other performances no. that Drummond we just saw. Was absolutely popping off. Absolutely. Playing Sledge. Uh, who was he playing on defense? Uh, I believe he played the Jaeger on defense. Jaeger. Played the Jaeger. Especially uh, when Drummond had the shotgun when he played mute. Yes, the mute shotgun. Taking Excellent. out that blitz, taking out the zero. Yes, it was the zero. Yes, and then almost taking out the Habana. Almost. Just hit a few more extra shots. Then, right. You know, if if a couple more pellets had RNG'd their way <laughs> into the Habana. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, looks like we are about to start. Yeah. I don't know. No. No. I'm gonna give you guys like a two minute break because there, there's only like a five minute break. So oh. Okay. Break, okay. Break, yeah. Break. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. That's fine. All right, we're going to be taking a little bit of break here, guys, in between games. We'll be back in about two minutes. About two minutes. And uh, we'll see you guys then.
And we're about to go into the next game. All right, we're going into Cafe here. Again, USM going to be attacking first. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what bands we're going to be seeing here. I know that USM is probably going to stick to their guns. They're probably going to have the floors. They're going to have the Valkyrie. Right. Not sure what we're going to be seeing from LTU, though. I'm very excited to see. All righty. So this is their team again. They're, def they're defending first. Yes. What do you expect? To s what are you just thinking? Thinking off the back, Thatcher. <laughs> The Zofia, they'll probably make Zofia visual, visual again. They don't like Zofia. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's just the fact, the way she clears the utility. I, I'm, I just really think that that is what is She can just causing. toss in those two stuns, then toss in one breach, and just <laughs> knock out a Jaeger completely. Yeah. Uh, got the Flores band. Flores. I'm expecting the Valkyrie next. Uh, is this going to be the exact same band phase? If I'm being honest, if LTU learns from their past mistakes... They get rid of knock. They get rid of... Well, they, they can't ban oh, yeah, more sorry. attackers. Uh, I think they'll get rid of the... Of the uh, the Malusi or the Yoguni this time, right? Or the Alibi if they if they don't want any three speeds, or they'll just hey, vigil again. Let's run it back. You know what I'm saying? I mean that so vigil ban. Uh, I don't think it affected us until oh, oh. Zombie, zombie ban. Okay, okay. I think that's I think that's a totally fair ban for this map. Uh, zombie has some great plays uh, here. So let's hop right into this round. Let's see what we so got. So what do you expect? Playing. This is their map, and I yes. was asking you during the break. You said let's hold it for this. Yeah. What What are you expecting from them? Since this is their map, they picked it for some reason. Absolutely. They. Uh, I see the Tachanka already from them. <laughs> I, I think you might be right on that. <laughs> uh, truly, and they're playing kitchen. Hold on. I might have made the best call I've ever made in my life. Uh, what I'm expecting to see from LTU here is just more playstyle around each other. Not necessarily all being stuck on site together, but just being able to play off of each other right. better. Because I that feel was, like that was a very bad thing they were doing in Oregon. They were just stuck on site with no yes. way out. Yes. Uh, they shot all the four holes and then they're reinforcing one? Question mark? Nah, it's okay. I don't think he reinforces both. Okay. I lied. Interesting. Uh, uh, that's just well, gonna make a free bakery take in case they, and, and it's not looking like they're gonna hold it. It looks like they're making mistakes on reinforcements again. Mm, you can see this a lot from from newer newer players. You know what I mean? Obviously, we're gonna have the holes above the reinforcements just for the C4 toss. Probably gonna come out from the mute. I would have to say, uh, or they might be trying to deny the the wall take from the uh, from the thermite that Mac is playing with the uh, right. impact grenades. So we have thermite, Ayana, Lion, Finka. In. Sledge. Sledge. And then we got a Tachanka, a Mute, Malusi, a Smoke, and a Rook. Uh, Rook rocking the MP5 this time. Good, because the MP5 is the superior gun, unless you're trolling. Uh, <laughs> Are you saying they were trolling? Uh, I'm saying that they might have been trolling in their last ranked game and just happened to forget to change it, because that's, that's very common. How often does it happen to you when you're doing a scrim? No comments. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it looks like we're just having a very basic take here. It's not looking like we're going to have an upstairs push from anybody. It looks like we're just droning in from the you brown side. The jiggle? jiggle peaks quick for the Mozik. Uh, Mozik is just a very, very, very confident player, I would say. Yeah. Always always there, you know what I mean? Always able to hit the shots. Yeah. Always being able to to play off of his teammates Did we see that Tachanka well. go up to Skylight? I think we did. Oh, my God. The Rook going to be taking out Nick. First frag of the game. Let's see it. We're going to put the Ionic clone right through the fire. Yep. Okay. We so have the is still on site. Yeah. is on site. We have the freezer hold. It looks like there we have someone's, a smoke playing close. On top of, is that white stairs next to freezer? Uh, yes, that is white stairs. I'm gonna make I sure don't... I got the call on that one. Right? <laughs> yeah. But they have they have someone on top of white coming down. If you will notice, they have four people on site. This is four people all playing in decent spots. If I have right. to say. Uh, Right Coming here, down Mac brain, Reza going to be taking down the guy might, trying to flank. Mac might get caught off guard by white stairs, though. Uh, it doesn't look, the last four players seem to be on site. Uh, no, he got Tibbs. Tibbs was on site, I believe. No, Tibbs right. is the guy coming down brown. Was he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so we got drumming. He's finally going to go play the vertical play that we've been needing to see this whole time. Most going to be taking, going to be coming with him, you know. Just I always find his vertical play is the most interesting to watch. Because you just, you just get that one little peek and they're like, what can you do about it? Nothing. Oh, Mac, could we see in the back of somebody? Oh, the headshot from Mac. That, Excellent that shot. Great headshot. He's Excellent lined up shot. with his teammate. You just shoot him through the Absolutely. wall. Hey, <laughs> All right, we got Reza pushing through the main double door. As you can see, though, we're not seeing anybody bakery side. And right. I feel like that's very, very uh, clear. Uncommon? It's, yes, it's very uncommon, but it's also very Playing clear as to what train. the plant going down from Mac. Going to be planting inside of uh, kitchen area. Let's He's see. Going to mining? We have mining being played in the vertical. Mozin's gonna Reza be taking another Freezer. kill. 
Oh, there gonna be taken out from the mute though. Mute playing the MP5, kind of surprising. He's gonna be watching the bakery side. No, nah, doesn't like anybody's plant is there. down. And this is that retake that we can't. This that's is that hard. retake, and we have somebody up top. Bad fry. Oh, there and there's Mac with the kill. Excellent shot there from the USM I squad. I don't like that. I can't see his reticle. <laughs> Excellent shots there from the USM squad. Uh, Mac and Reza really just, really just, you know, right. taking those initiatives. So Mac and Reza fragging out first round. <laughs> I see. Now, I talk high about my boy Fake Plot Nick, but right. Mr. Tibbs over here kind of got him a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? They got a Mazia Wamai award, and they're going third floor bar and cocktail. Bar and cocktail. Uh, see, normally uh, here in this site, we would be used to seeing a Valkyrie play because Valkyrie is very influential on the site. But Because there's so much open area right above yeah. main door. Yeah, but USM going to be taking that ban. It's very influential. Very, very, very. They have a medium. warden. Honestly, MPX goes crazy. They are playing the Thorn. The Thorn is what I was going to bring up in the Oregon game. I feel like they need to know where the USM squad is pushing from. And they are not taking that, and they are not, like, using the right gadgets for that. But it's not looking like they're going to be playing it as that, with the Thorn gadget going to be going underneath Heaven Hatch. Uh, this is this will let them know if somebody drops Heaven Hatch. However, it will probably will not get the kill on anybody. Right. Or if it does... Actually, no, it won't get the kill on anybody, because you can just look down the hatch and shoot it through the floor. Right. So... I'm not really sure the what that mat, place is. I, I was thinking in my in my brain of old uh, to put the frost mat underneath the hatch that leads up to rooftop, <laughs> but actually no, it's there. They, they're it's under the, the bar. Mat. So I'm guessing that they placed the, the the frost mat there in case of a skylight drop. I'm not seeing a skylight drop. I don't think that USM squad is going to be taking those kind of drops. Uh, no, they put the frost mat for Heaven Hatch. For Heaven Hatch. Okay, I didn't see it. So I'm it was underneath barbed wire. Okay. Okay, that's also where the thorn gadget was placed, actually. Are I'm they both right there? I'm guessing. So we got Matt going to be taking the white window. I will say I played ranked like two days ago. The thorn gadget definitely threw me off guard. I didn't know what to expect from it, and I just died. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we're going to have Reza pushing up to the top main, st I mean, from, from white stairs. Uh, this is going to be very big because the collapse onto site, as we were talking about in the Oregon game earlier, it really does come from the Red Stairs hatch with a Twitch drone going in. Mozzie, ooh. I would have laughed really hard if Nick would have drove that through a Mozzie. Oh, it was like he's going to an angle dead. on it. Absolutely great. We're going to have the if Twitch drone inside. If he got a Twitch, if Mozzie would have got a Twitch drone, that would be the happiest day of, Mo of Mozzie's career. Absolutely. That Twitch drone. Drumming, going to be taking down Mozzie anyway. doesn't matter. Mozzie can no longer control anything if you want. Tib's gonna be getting on the refrag on Mac. Drummond and Mozzie gonna be taking the refrags back though. It's 4v2 on site. Warden and Thorn gonna goes. be playing Heaven together. Hatch. Heaven Hatch drop. It looks like they already took out both gadgets that were sitting there. Nick gonna be pushing through piano. Gonna come down the white stairs. Took the out the Mozzie drone. drone. All right. Oh, Drummond gonna be taken out from the MPX on the flank hey. on red stairs. He knows he's there though. Reza is, or not, this is Nick. Yes, Nick's gonna be, Nick should just play that angle. It's gonna be close. The word gonna be taking him out. Oh my god, 2v2 on site. This might be a 4v2 clutch here for right. the L LTU squad. We here got Mosk coming up Mosek, white. He's still on both white. On Actually, they're both white. on white. Oh. They don't have bomb down, do they? No. No, they don't. Reza has bomb. Uh, they have a guy playing in freezer, and the guy probably still on red stairs, if I'm not mistaken here. Reza gonna be pushing into the main side. Watching this unfold right here. They're gonna enter in. There goes the drone. Mosk's gonna peek with the drone. He's gonna be on freezer. He, he knows. He knows. He knows. Oh, he knows. Reza gonna be taking some shots. Taking some he shots shot through, through the, the wall. Freezer from wall. Freezer. They know he's Reza in gonna there. be going for the plant. Honestly, huge. Where play is here. from the, the warden. warden? Where is this warden? He, at? Gonna he be taking it down. Out. Gonna be peeking. Gonna be peeking. Oh, what an excellent frag there from Reza. Reza gets him down. Reza, Where's last one. Last one on the hole. The warden peeks. Oh, oh, ran out of ammo. Mosik gonna be missing a shot. What are we gonna see here? Are we gonna what see gonna Mosek happen? win it? He's got the Deagle. No. Oh, the Deagle will! He, he outplayed himself. Almost he, he thought, a 4v2 clutch from the L2U squad. Yeah. Very, he, he, very proud of you. He USM. thought that he might have laid down behind that little half, yes. like the half wall. Yes. Or, well, it's just, just a bar, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he thought he laid down behind it, checked it, and then just got, did, just yeah, got swung. He, Honestly, uh, what I saw there is. It's just a lack of information there from the USM squad. They got cocky. They wanted to push in, and uh, right, and yeah. you know LTU was just able to capitalize on that so excellently. Right. That All was right. a good momentum shift. Absolutely. Uh, USM had the momentum fo folding against them. They 
were good pushing in. They had good yes. momentum, got it swung away from them, yep. and they swung it right back. Right, USM so, right back on it. Absolutely. And it looks like we're going to be having about the same myth, but was it going to be changing off to the Jackal? The Jackal for the Rome, I don't really think, I think they only had one Roamer, maybe two with the Warden, absolutely. Uh, so I think that Mozavik is going to be hard Rome clear, probably with Reza Max again. Max switches to the Ace. To the ace. Okay. okay. Off the Habana. I'm guessing they, they expected another another downstairs uh, area. Right. So it looks like we're going to be having a bathroom hold, a top white hold, and the main bar hold. As well, oh, okay. So we'll have a mute in, uh, I mean a smoke in piano. Okay. All right, well, I'm very excited to see how this round unfolds. Right. Uh, they're watching windows, like, they're just watching spawn peaks just in case they absolutely. get cocky enough to look out after five seconds. Mm -hmm. You did say that the Lee has a five second rule. You can't spawn yes. peak until yes. five seconds. I'm pretty so sure that's what I've been told. I'm almost 100%. So instant peaks don't exist. Exactly. Uh, they're so they know that camera. they're going to be coming to up the white stairs again. Probably with the Reza, probably with Mozik again. Uh, I think they're that just- That is a beautiful skin on that one. That is very pretty. Uh, we're, we're complimenting you, Nick. <laughs> Take it and run with it. Here goes the Twitch drone. Down. Ace gonna Mozzie, be on no. the, Oh, Mozi gonna be taking out the Wamai on the Rome clear. Excellent shots there. Mozi gets that. Excellent, excellent shot. Amazing it's gonna be in shot. reading room. That's where that's where the Wamai was. In case anybody was noticing. He's using the the PDW. PDW. Absolutely amazing gun. Fifty one uh, bullets. Very fast fire rate. Easy to control. Absolutely amazing gun. I like his AR better. Just that's, that's me. Right. That's me personally. But I can see the, the value of fifty one bullets. Any one headshot kills yep. with good good yep. recoil control. Absolutely. All right, we're gonna have a drop here. We're gonna have a guy going top cigar, a guy going piano side. Nick they know this one piano. by the smoke. Nick, I, or no? That's Nick gonna be taking out the guy in piano. I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's the smoke. Drummond taking out the guy from Skylight into the freezer. Five, it's a five v two. Five v two on side. A minute and thirty left in the round. USM has just been able to capitalize so well he, on the time. He knows he's in freezer. He's gonna cook this just for enough time for it to roll up and hurt him. Uh, oh, he is so, so close. weak. So weak. This might be a lack of information here, but it, we have drones on site, so there's no way that there is a lack of information. Right. Matt going to be pushing in through piano, going to be going through the bathroom. Uh, I'm very excited to see how how they will be taking the site. Mosif going to be taking know the guy he's coming out. Up the stairs. He doesn't know. Warden's coming up the stairs right he's behind. Up the stairs. Oh, missing the shots on some Mosif. Reza there for the for the frag. Flawless round, flawless round for the USM squad. That was just great gameplay. I think uh, that, that was, was a good counter uh, room. I think that was just, I think the switch to the the Jackal there was just a great play all right. around. All around a great See, play. See, if, you, if you're expecting them to pick a Jackal again, and I know this might not be a very meta play, but a Caviera. It's not meta at all. <laughs> I know it's not meta, but I'm saying her footsteps are hidden from Jackal. You can still roam in this some type of confidence. This is true. This is true. If they really want to roam like that again. It looks like they're going to be bringing the exact same setup. Drummond just been hard stuck on the sledge all game, but still been fragging out. Uh, and honestly, a great fit roll for him. Right. Great fit roll. All right, so we're going to be having another downstairs hold. I'm not exactly sure how LTU are going to capitalize on these last few rounds that they lost, how they're going to adapt, and how they're going to change. Uh, they might not. And if, if, not, if, so they don't, if they don't change something up, then this is going to be a 2-0, and we're going to go home early tonight, <laughs> which I don't want to see. I want to see a good game happen tonight. I want to see tonight. a great game happen. Right. They need to change something. What do you think they need to change? Okay. They need to play more as a team and kind of... Make sure they get the trades off because they're also, just getting killed. I'm also noticing that when we're spectating the players, they they seem to look at the ground. Uh, I'm noticing that bad crosshair crosshair placement. placement. Yes. Okay. So it looked like there was about to be a spawn peak, maybe. Uh, they were baiting. They are. They are. They. Oh, Ooh, alibi taking alibi. lots of damage going up the white stairs. Matt gonna be taking all that damage off of the alibi with thermite. It looks like they're going to try to capitalize off that. Oh, that's a great hit on Mr. Tibbs over there. Kill from Mozik himself on the finger. They need to play the together finger. more on defense because that's one thing I'm noticing that USM did very well. That was almost a, a <laughs> friendly fire. Or was that a Yana clone? That was a clone. Okay. Yeah, was a clone as well. It's, that's not that big. All right. Looks like we're going to be taking the the uh, freezer wall. Kahi tried to do it. Just not as good as Mac. <laughs> All right. So he tried little... to Kade trick it. Nah. Bandit yeah, tricking is better. All, so you're gonna see that we, we have we have a few people on drones now, uh, and this is just to capitalize off information. You know, as Reza said in that pregame interview, information is just such a valuable part of siege. Right. Okay. So they know that the, the they're one they're is not clear. The enemy team is not gathering a lot of information either. They're yeah, gonna get I a agree. ping. 
I do like how they use pings instead of actually scanning for it. Absolutely. Because scanning just allows the enemy team to know there's a drone nearby. And there's no reason to let that happen. Absolutely. Here goes the lesion. Get it out. So we actually still have the alibi on Rome. Gonna come down the red stairs. Oh, Nick gonna be taken out by the lesion. Lesion gonna be refragged though real quick by Reza. Excellent refrag there. Uh, Max still gonna be holding the white stairs. I'm not actually sure if that's the correct thing to hold. Let's see. Let's see here. Drummond just holding the brown stairs. However, we can see through our screen that Alibi is on the red stairs walking down. Moza going to be holding that, going to be taking the swing. Excellent, then, excellent, excellent fires there from the USM squad. Here goes we got to think stem. of those coming on. Are they going to Are they gonna push they're gonna in collapse. with the yep. they, They're going to push in now. Uh, oh, excellent angle from Reza. He just knows there's a guy there. He just knows that he's about to take this guy out. There's nothing you can do. Reza with Reza the kill on the T-Bird. Last one's the Kaid. Kaid going to be taking out Mag 3v1. He's gonna throw something. Drummond gonna be getting the kill. Excellent shot there from the USM squad. He throws the nade, scares the Kai. Kai just ran. Just ran. He saw the grenade emblem. Like, he didn't even, the grenade wasn't even a threat to him afterwards because he threw it so far away. No. But he saw the grenade emblem and probably panicked. Most likely. And honestly, I mean, that's just, that that's just fair. comes with Siege. You that's know? fair. That just comes with Siege. You see the grenade symbol and you're like, you can't throw it back now. <laughs> you used to at least be able to throw it back. This is true. That's back to like year one though. Hey, it was at least there in year five, because I did it in year five. Okay, so 4 0 here for USM Esports. Uh, I don't know. I think LTU is just, it's just not, not getting what they need to do done. You know what right. I mean? I just feel like that they're taking. They're not, they're not holding things in crossfires to where they can get the trade off. Mm -hmm. They're not holding things to where everyone else is safe. They're holding yes. things to where only, like, they're holding angles to where only they're safe. Yes. But whenever they get picked off, no one's there to capitalize on the fact that someone else isn't focused on them. Absolutely. And that's what the USM, USM Esports does just so well. Is just, they, just, they just know how to play off each other. You can tell that this is a team that has spent time together. Right. And that, that they understand each other a little Especially bit Especially the four returners. Absolutely. They have so much experience together. Nick, yes. Nick has fallen in line with what has been a good foundation mm -hmm. so easily because yes. of how well it's been set up. Now, I will say from USM uh, Esports, as an insider, uh, they did have a little trouble with Nick at first getting used to the role yeah. because he's a solo queuer. You know, he likes playing his, his solo ranked games. So it was a little difficult getting Nick into the team setting. However, now that he is in it, you can just see this man shine. This is only game one. Normally, a lot of our teams this semester have shown out with a bad first game appearance. But oh, we're Mose taking out the Wamai on brown that, stairs. That, excellent shot, excellent information that's gathering. A heck of a shot. Most of our teams on their uh, first game of the season yes. have normally come out very shaky. I see Siege and it completely oh. different. This okay, is completely so. different from the Siege team from other USM teams this season. So right there, Wood was playing under the hatch, waiting for them to pop it, and then throwing the C4 up through the hatch. However, it seemed that they got out of the way just in time, and right. the Warden is just now without a C4. So now we don't have any plant denial that we need for the LTU squad. And I right. feel like that was just kind of a waste of material there. And they're just they're just getting rid of all the gadgets. Yes. That's it, why the Twitch is so important. But no, it's Drummond doing it. Drummond's just doing it with his gun. <laughs> He's like, Twitch who? <laughs> well, Twitch doesn't have any more drones left either. You see the Jaeger laying down to the left side here, just holding that skylight angle. Drummond might get taken out here by this guy. He's gonna cook the grenade for the Thunderbird. Or no, that's, yeah, that's Thunderbird again. She did not get hit by it this time. Oh, and Nick going to be taking out the Thunderbird. Excellent shot Nick's on the top of White Stairs pallets. Now Reza coming up the White Stairs, going to be on pallets now. He's got alarmed. All right, so there's they a They know he's freezer. there. Oh, the Jaeger's just not he's using any information. And we got three people on the freezer. No! <laughs> oh my god, the work stayed alive for way too long. There, there was a grenade right Excellent. next to Reza's feet, and he was not, he was not worried about it one bit. Rez is the best player I've ever seen in my life. I heard, I heard Plant down Drummond, in default. the man Casey himself yelling that I am, I'm nading Freezer and Rez is like, what nade? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nick gonna be taken out by the Warden on Red Stairs. Their, their Warden But most of gonna be holding it, gonna be getting an excellent shot. Excellent, excellent team play there. Way to get the Diffuser down, way to capitalize on the misplays right. by LTU. And honestly, just their, a great Their Warden's right. really good at flanking with that MPX. But he just keeps getting hit by angles he doesn't think that USM's at. Anymore. Yes, yes. So Absolutely. as soon as they know where he's at, they pin, they collapse on him. Just yeah. like they collapse on site, they can collapse on a person. Absolutely. Okay, so we're not going to be having the jackal this time around. However, we are going to be seeing a clash played 
from the enemy team from LTU in the kitchen area. Now, for Clash, she is severely underplayed and severely, like, not good. Uh, <laughs> uh, like, especially with the high ranked uh, gameplay setting uh, right. that Siege releases every year. Uh, she's just always at the very bottom when it comes to defenders. We might see something nutty, though. We, we never we never underestimate whenever you only take one bullet to kill. This is true. That, so, that fully automatic secondary. So as you can see here, though, uh, we're going to have Dr. Plague 54. He's just going to be taking the Ella. Uh, I think the Ella is going to be very beneficial. I, I, I know. like calling Ella like a pocket A-10 Warthog. Just <laughs> run around the corner and... Hope you hit ahead. Remember whenever she first came out, she had 51 bullets yeah. in the fire rate of God himself. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. And you just fast peek anything and just let lay down the law. Yep. Now 41 bullets, only 10 less, and a little bit slower fire rate. Yeah, yep. I'm However, talking about the deployable shield is great. Yeah, I'm talking about ancient history, by the way. <laughs> so we're going to be seeing the Clash just playing in Bakery with somebody behind him, okay? Uh, the mirror is going to be placed, looks like on Freezer they wall. the mirror, they know where she's at. Absolutely. They're right there. They are so close. There was a guy on the white stairs backed up. I'm hearing some calls here from USM Esports. They're just saying, screw the white take. We're just yeah. going to go bakery side. We're going to take out the clash, and we're going to get in brown, and we're just going to come into sight because there's no way they're right. playing around this mirror right here. They're droning out. They don't know that someone's actually in uh, right in front of reading. Yep, there's absolutely. someone laying down. Oh, Mozik with the smoke kill. That's the guy we were talking about right there. And now we're going to have two people pushing in to bakery. It's going to be Mozik, and it's going to be fake There's a good Nick. shot. If she would have had her shield down or had turned at any point in time, would have that been clash dead. would have been dead. Absolutely. So we got watching some the flank holds. Of, watching the top of red. Oh, the is that red? line coming out. Yes, that is red okay. stairs. Resic, I'm, I'm, I'm making getting sure my call drunk. out, sir. No, you're good. You're good. Okay, so they know that they have a mirror playing on Bakery. Oh, Mr. Tibbs going to be taking out Mozuk there. there goes on Mozuk. the flank, it looks like. Going to be upstairs with the Malusi. But fake play going to be getting a refrag. He's going to get onto the mirror. On Mira. Yes, on Where was Mira fight. at? Was Mira was last seen right there inside that little mirror, bar mirror barricade. She, she just popped her own Mira and got yeah. a little too, a little little too, too hot. Absolutely. Ella. Oh, there, Nick saw, saw the Ella. Oh, nice shots from Nick. Ella not going to be killing it though. She is 10 so HP. Hurt. 10 HP. Ella, on Ella is one shot on anything. He keeps getting zapped by the Clash. Every chance the Clash gets zapping Nick, just a little bit more health lost. Okay, I think that was Freezer that just got opened by Mac himself. Now they know that the Malusi is still flanking. Oh, Malusi is literally 20 HP now. Uh, just heard the call that she is brown stairs, gonna be rotating around probably to red side. Uh, yeah, exactly as you said. And they're gonna be holding it just Drummond, so that if she Drummond, tries to flank again. Drummond got down. I don't think the Malusi knew that he downed her though. Are they picking up? Drummond? Is that I what they're heading to do? I don't, I don't think so. It looks like they're trying to capitalize on the site play here. Uh, Mac probably going to be playing for the diffuser. Reza going to be holding him from the window. Clash going to be pushing up close though. Clash, Clash gets massive shot in the damage. Back a little bit. Massive damage. Ella going to be down. And they know that there's a guy white. Reza with an excellent kill on the white guys. Last one's the Clash up. I don't think they know the Ella's down. Alright, let's see it. It's a 4v1 against the Clash. They this shouldn't be too Ella's difficult. There. And oh, there he is. Out. Reza gets behind. Excellent him. job from Reza there. Excellent job. 11 kills from Reza. Absolutely 11 insane. One. Absolutely I don't insane. know if anyone's immune to caster curse. It has to be a streamer, though. If anyone's <laughs> immune to caster cursing, it has to be a streamer. God TTV, baby. Alright, so now we're going to be seeing the switch over to defense. Defense is We got Aruni, Cade. We got Jaeger, Mozzie, and Alibi. This Reza's is using Alibi this time, and Nick is using Jaeger. Yes, and we got Drummond on the Aruni, which was normally Max's playstyle in the last game. But However, Mac is running Kate. Exactly, and I think this is going to be an excellent, excellent hold by the USM squad. I just think that that with the operator picks and the way that they play, it's just going to be a way for them to capitalize on LTU's mistakes at right. all times. All right. Pretty basic side setup we got going here. Maybe an alibi holding bathroom, possibly. Uh, that's that's an interesting hold right there. No, bathroom is pretty basic. Is it now? Yeah. Now, now it's now it's actually one of the most meta things. Uh, Normally, I'm I'm seeing everything that the enemy team is doing is kind of just slightly off. Okay. Oh wait, I'm I'm still used to 
the other way. We I forgot we just switched sides. That's yeah. yeah my brain has just completely <laughs> farted. It's okay. Uh, so we from have LTU. We're gonna be seeing the zero and the Grim play. This is the first time Grim's been played in this best of three series. Okay. Uh, so Grimm, explain to me what Grim does. So Grim, he is the newest operator to the Siege squad. Uh, he has a launcher. Nick going for a spawn peek. After oh, five seconds. Missing a few shots. Yes, that was after five seconds. Just missing a little bit too much. Not gonna be able to track him as well as he thought he was gonna be. Anyway, Grim, he is a he shoots kind of uh, he shoots out little little tiny drones. Right. Uh, and basically what the little drones do is they will ping an enemy like you just ran through an alibi and they set up like a nomad trap. Really? Yes. They knock you down? No, no. They don't knock you down. They just like let you know where you are. So he's not very played, very much played. So we're going to have a guy in bathroom. Is there a room? He's going to be holding bathroom from Drummond. Uh, and then we have That's Nick good playing the piano. Right here. Um, Drummond right here holding the window, just getting it as soon as they peek. The Grim not gonna get played for very long. <laughs> Drum gonna be taking him out real quick here, on the Here goes Reza, window. he's watching down Y stairs. They have default cams still up, it seems like. Uh, Mozik gonna be on the roam. And I think this is an excellent place for Mozik to be. I believe the, the roam with the Mozzie and with the C4 from below right. is just an excellent play. And here's Aruni, Aruni peeking out back. And they're both with Alibi. No, Alibi's gonna stay up top. Reza's gonna stay up top. He gets oh, back, back with a kill, kill on New Balcony. But Nick gonna be getting one HP in cigar, one HP in cigar. Not Nick sure what he just peeked there, but probably was not the best idea. He, I think he peeked new window as Matt killed the person that peeked him. I got you. I got you. Or new balcony, sorry. Or maybe his foot like showed at skylight or something. <laughs> right. So it looks like so we have. Shooting out to cigar. Uh, so we have. Uh, we have. LTU has two guys on the roof. That's what I'm seeing here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how they plan on capitalizing. Here goes gridlocks. They're like throwing, they're throwing down their gridlocks and the red stairs. Mozik might be getting a kill here. No, Mozik going to be taken out by Rezik with the refrag on the guy's skylight. They're going to be dropping red, going to be dropping down. Gridlocks placed on the red stairs for the flank. Alibi going to be sitting in freezer. Alibi is going to peek out. We see. We, uh, Didn't see him. They have they have pings on heavy on heaven balk. Mac knows exactly where. I mean, Mac probably on the cam. No, Mozik on the cams. Reza knows exactly where they're at. Reza might be getting some nice shots here. Oh, barely misses. Just has a drone. All right, we got two guys to guard. Not here exactly sure how they're going to play this. Uh, they have 28 seconds left. Nick is still 1 HP, so maybe they could use that to their advantage. Nick going to be Nick. getting taken out. Oh, Reza yeah. with the refrag, though. Last one is the Sledge. 3v1. Sledge. Sledge takes out Reza, and Mac takes out Sledge. That is the end of the series. 2-0. That is 2-0, 7-1. Right, is this one seven zero? This seven was seven zero. one seven zero. Seven one seven zero. Good games. Excellent games. Excellent games. Reza just popping off again. Thirteen and two. You can't stop the freight train when it's in motion. You can't stop the streamer. That's what I'm noticing here. You can't. You can't cast or curse the streamer. No. You can't stop him. You can't stop him. All right. Well, that was an excellent game. Those were. I think. I think going into cafe knowing that it was LTU's map. Uh, but but USM still being able to capitalize. Just being able to dominate on attack, Absolutely. Absolutely. especially whenever they picked th their poison basically with Cafe. <laughs> they did, and the beautiful thing is that USM had only attack. They only had attack first round. Right. Right. They didn't so, have a single side where they were defensive first. Exactly. But I mean, well, as you just heard from Drummond himself, that's why they take attack. That's first why. Round. That's why they take <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> they did it so that that can happen. Absolutely. I do know we're about to start switching into our post-game show Absolutely. where we're going to have USM Janos interviewing the team captain, team coach, Mac himself. Joshua. Joshua. <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> All right, guys. They're, right now they're saving all of their things. and Thank you guys so much for joining you. us on this casting stream. Uh, my name is USM Aaron. I'm Jonathan. I'm USM Phobia. Sorry. <laughs> and we will see you guys later. Nice shot. Shout out. <laughs>
Okay. What is up, guys? I am back, USM Janos, and I'm here with the winner, the team captain, national championship <laughs> team coach. Oh, you're you're, you're, you flatter me Mac, too much. Josh. You flatter me too much, John, I will say. You flatter me way too much. A dominant performance yeah, on in every single aspect. Uh, you're, I could probably count the team deaths on two <laughs> hands. Uh, Reza did not die in the first round until one of the very last I'm, games. Oh, my goodness. He and went off that map. He, he yeah, really went to proven point. Having a career night in his debut, or not debut, but in his season opener. I mean. I mean, dropping, what, 13 and 12 kills? I think it was 11. I think oh, it was 11. 11 and 12. Oh, well, he, he went off that game. I mean, it, pretty much everyone went off that game. Honestly, we were playing with a lot of confidence. Like, we wanted to, like, make sure this first match was a statement for all of, for everyone in NACE. Pretty loud in here, too, by the way. Yes. And you uh, know. a statement. If our, if our production manager, you know, like to quiet down just a little bit. <laughs> quiet, quiet down the room a little bit. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. But, uh, but yeah, i definitely say a really dominant performance from us. I mean, we were playing with confidence. We wanted to make this a statement for all of us. And so I'm pretty sure we made that statement. We did what we needed to do, and we proved that we are we are champions for a reason. Yes, uh, without a doubt, a championship level performance. I wanted to talk about about your role in the team because I mm -hmm. I was making some observations while I was on the spectator. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really amazing as a captain the mm -hmm. way you play. You play not for kills, but you are actually the information provider for the entire team. Oh, for sure. I mean. Um, I, I was fortunate enough to catch your double kill in round one <laughs> and, and your last two kills in, I think, the last round, mm. uh, although I didn't catch them in person. So mm. you have a highlight set up. I got two but, kills. Let's go. Uh, you still had so many points coming mm. from uh, information, taking mm. out devices, taking mm -hmm. out utility, you know, breaching walls. Mm. How important is that to you and this team to be the information giver? I mean, with the roles we come this around and around, we have a lot of fraggers on our team. Like, I was really grateful that I got put on the road to where I can be that leader. I can give the information because I never saw myself as a, I want to go out there and get kills. I want to make sure I'm setting up my team for success. And as the captain and the coach, I'm already doing that by, like, coaching the team and practicing. But just, you know, being able to in-game just be that guy to be like, okay, guys, we're doing this, doing this, doing this. There's a guy here. There's a guy here. I mean, I feel really comfortable in that role. I'm gladly to be the guy that I'm not frag heavy I'm not trying to get kills I want to make sure my team is getting set up to get those kills for me I mean yeah like so you, I got that double kill at the beginning I mean I'm happy to get kills like I don't know if you saw that last time I think I only dropped four kills that entire game and I had four assists and two deaths that game so like just I don't have to worry about getting frags like I know if my other team is fragging now I don't have to worry about getting fragged I'm making sure I'm giving the information to my team so I mean I love my role I don't plan on switching anytime soon and you know I'm happy to be on that role. And it must make you really happy as a coach to make the call and your team quickly reacts mm -hmm. and Reza, uh, oh, Mozik, Drummond steps in and just takes them out instantaneously. Oh, for sure. The way you guys communicated tonight, it seemed like the enemy team could not hide anywhere on the map except <laughs> in when they were dead. Oh, man, let me tell you. Like, it felt so good to, you know, seeing those guys because I think the main thing we wanted to prove tonight was that we can, we can play with confidence. I think that was one thing I felt like we were kind of lacking, like, last season was just playing with confidence. Like, we know we're, some, we're one of the best teams in Mississippi, and if we play with that confidence, like, we play like we are the best team in Mississippi. Like you saw tonight, we can blow out teams. And I'm looking forward to our next match. Uh, I think it's LSU Shreveport we're playing next week, next okay. Thursday. So, uh, no, look forward to that. Um, we're going to once again prove that we are confident. We are one of the best teams. We are the best team in Mississippi. We are the best R6 team in Mississippi. And hopefully tonight was a, proof, was a statement. And was there anything that you noticed that you guys will work on in the coming weeks? If, if anything at all, I, I can't personally say I saw much of anything that happened that you guys didn't quickly react to. Deaths are part of the game, but every time one of you guys died, it was instant. It was like a, it was like a, a whole group of sharks descending upon the enemy and taking them out. But was there anything that you saw personally? I mean, yes, we played good, but like I said, there's always something we can work on. I really want to get, like I said, our team coordination up a little bit more, our team chemistry, and just get better. I mean, like I said, yes, we won 7-0. I mean, that's 7-1 to me. Kind of sucked that we lost one round because I feel like we were going to blow them out. But, you know, really want, really want to get our team coordination back up and you just know, playing a little, like I said, just being more confident, you know, being able to take those gunfights and knowing that we're going to win those gunfights. But definitely want to improve our team coordination a little bit more because there were some times, I will say, that um, – there were times we were playing a little bit too heated. We were playing a little too aggro. Like, we need to probably slow down a little bit more. But once we get that in order, I mean, we can be unstoppable. 
And like I said, just getting that team coordination up. But like overall, I really can't say there's really nothing bad I can say about them. Like I said, we played how we needed to. Like our scrims really show, and hopefully our performance tonight really show how much work we put into this team and you know how much everyone has put time into like this team and you know this first match today. It was. Well, in terms of the debuts that we've seen from USM, this mm -hmm. is the, by far the most dominant one we've seen. Mm -hmm. uh, as they say, saving the best for last. Oh, of course. Uh, without a doubt in my <laughs> mind. And it was, I mean, through and through a killer performance from every single one of you. Is there Thank anything you so you'd much. like to tell the viewers as we go into the rest of the season, what to expect from this team? I mean, you can expect more dubs, way more dubs. Than, like after tonight, like expect very dominant performances. You know, we're going to continue to prove why we are national champions, why we are one of the best teams in Mississippi. And, you know, take it day by day. I'm going to keep, I'm gonna keep myself humble, though. But, you yeah, know, take it day by day. So, but, you know, thank, thank you to everyone who watched tonight. You know, huge shouts to, you know, Corey and Patoon in the chat. You know, I saw you on the chat after, after our match, though. After our match, though. Uh, of course. After of course. the match. I saw, them, I saw them after the match. I popped out and see who was in all in chat today. You know, I saw them, too. So, give a shout out to those two guys today. Also, Miss Patoon. That clip in the in the podcast today. I definitely gonna talk about that. <laughs> definitely gotta talk about that. Gotta talk about that. But you know, shout out to everyone who came out tonight. You know, hopefully y'all were really amazed by our performance and you know, looking forward to seeing y'all next week for our next game against LSUS. Guys, in esports we've got so many hype days and I hope that this will show that your Thursday is worth tuning in. We've got Rocket League Mondays, League and Valorant Wednesdays, and now Rainbow Six Thursdays. It just gets better and better and never seems to stop. There are so many things to see with this team, and if you saw even one round, you will see how dominant this team is. They are national champions for a reason. I have this trophy sitting next to me for a reason. Uh, the new addition to the team, Mozik, was an excellent, excellent player, uh, along with the rest of the team. Uh, they've all worked perfectly together. It seems like they've been playing together forever. But that is going to be the end for us here tonight. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, shout out to our sponsors, Coca-Cola, Played Against Sports, State Farm. Shout out to the casters, USM Phobia and USM Aaron. Put on an amazing performance tonight. We're hoping to get them back for next Thursday. I hope you guys enjoyed my spectator mode. It will be more smooth in the future. Uh, I kind of got the hang of it toward the end and tried to get as much of the action as I could with my reasonable, reasonably low game knowledge. Uh, shout out to Production Manager, shout out Mr. Toast, shout out USM Administration, and thank you guys all for watching. We will be back on Monday for Rocket League and Valorant Team Black. And until then, this is USM Janos. We will see you again next week.